I think we'd all agree in our culture and our society, even in our churches, there's a whole lot of confusion about marriage out there. But what does God say about it? God is the creator and definer of marriage. And so we don't want to take our cues from the world, but take them from God and from his word. So the goal in communication is not to win, not to get our point across, but for mutual understanding. What are those things that drive you crazy about one another? How can those differences actually draw you closer together? And when I look back over that season in our marriage, I see the destruction that sin caused. Oftentimes what I was feeling when she was questioning what I thought we should do with our money was feeling ashamed. It just brought up all these insecurities. And he's in there reading the paper and watching TV. That seed of resentment buried its way in. I would say the number one thing would have been selfishness. I wanted to do the things that I wanted to do and neither one of us were willing to bend. Because of broken trust, the desire to be sexually intimate was not there at all. I think the mentality for me was, I think kids are gonna be fun. Didn't realize how much work they are. But now the priority relationship is their spouse. Couples who do well continue to pursue one another creatively, romantically, and growing their friendship. The bottom line is that marriage is a picture of God's love for his church. Will your marriage, will your relationship reflect the same type of love and relationship? And I hope that this series has helped you answer the question whether you are ready or not.